Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna give a quick overview of my demon hunter, which we like to refer to as the hummingbird. As long as I don't stop moving, I usually don't die. Um, I'm a little bit newer to Diablo 3. I got it when I pre-ordered Diablo 2 Remastered. And we've been playing. I mainly play with buddies. Um, I do have some equipment on my follower to help out when I'm running solo, but I don't do that too often. Um, but yeah, we like to call it the hummingbird. Essentially, I strafe and I do not stop. Um, so I move pretty quick. Uh, I don't slow down unless I have to. Um, and running with buddies, it works out pretty good because they'll finish off anything I leave behind, pick stuff up. Um, so I'm running the boar companion. Gives me a little bit of that extra life regen and resistance for everybody. The fan of knives I'm running that it's going to stun, which is great. I'll zip in on a boss, stun him real quick and keep spinning. Uh, smoke screen, just in case I do get low on health, I'll do that and I'm going to get life back from every hit. So as long as I use that, I can usually heal up without having to use a heal potion. Um, and I have the movement buff on it right now for movement speed. However, I do also like to use the extra duration. Um, I am using Vengeance with the Freeze ability, which again is nice if I get a lot of enemies built up or if I'm working on elites or bosses, I can freeze them on up. Um, I'm also running Hungering Arrow with the Devouring Arrow. That's my damage one right there. You can see that I have it. It is increased damage with every enemy pierced. Then I have Strafe, which is like my vehicle. I use it. I don't. I do not stop. Um, and I've got a little bit of speed boost from that as well. Um, I'm running Sharpshooter for the crit hit chance, Ambush for the extra damage to initially, Blood Vengeance, and Awareness just to have some extra life. Um, so on my cube, I am running Calamity. So it's automatically going to mark everything for death as soon as I damage it, which I'm hitting everything that I go through. Um, this helps me, it helps my teammates, all does a little bit more damage. The Raps of Clarity, um, it is my strafe, my hunger arrow, it's going to be my hatred generators. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to get that extra damage reduction, which is awesome. I used to use the Ice Climber boots so I couldn't get frozen. Not anymore. Um, that is a good one to go with, but I did switch to this for a little bit more life on the higher levels. And then the Ring of Royal Grandeur, because I am running the illusionary boots that I can move through enemies unhindered, and I really like having those on. And I'm running the Gears of Dreadland sit, which I'll go over here in a second. But over here, we've got my Strafe Projectiles Pierce, which is great. Um, and then my Hungering Arrow does 564% increased damage. That's a good one. This is a really nice quiver I got. The rolls on it were pretty high. Um, I had to socket it, and then I went ahead and buffed it with the cube as well. It's doing pretty good. Um, so I've got the Hungering Arrow, or the Gears of Dreadland set on. So I gain four seconds of momentum when attacking with the primary skill. That's why I have Hungering Arrow on three. I will keep four held, I will zip through everything, and we're just going to go ahead and hit it. And then I'm going to hit that three button, I'm going to throw out the heavy damage hits, and it's going to give me that momentum boost. Um, it lasts 20 seconds, and my primary skill does 10% increased damage per second momentum, which is great. Um, and then the next piece is strafing against enemies, it will automatically shoot your last primary skill. So it does shoot Hungering Arrow randomly. And it gives me 60% reduction, reduction in damage while strafing for 5 seconds. While strafing, I gain 80% increased movement speed for each second momentum. That way, I'm, I'm not getting hurt as much as long as I keep moving. So that's a good one right there. And then my primary skills are going to do 15,000% increased damage. That's big. It's nice. We are running Simplicity Strength, Bane of the Stricken, and the pain enhancer are all about level rank 80 right now. Um, we're going to get those slowly higher. If you guys think there's some critiques along the way that you notice, I am newer. Give me the critiques. Be nice about it. But give me some critiques. I'm down to learn and try a couple different things. Hell, theory crafting on this game is half the thing. Figuring out what armor sets work for you. Um, so the Gears of Dreadland is really good. Um, I do have a lot of these set of ancient set pieces. The other set I'm running is the Endless Walk. This one is great for me. While moving, damage taken is reduced by up to 50%. And while standing still, damage does increase by up to 100%. So my toughness goes way up as long as I'm moving, which is why they call me the Hummingbird. I move through everything fast. I don't stop moving. And as long as I'm still moving, I've got great toughness. As you can see right now, my toughness is 25 mil. 
So let's see if I zip around here. You can see my recovery and my toughness went up. I'm up to 50 mil toughness right now. As long as I'm moving, I'm good. I stop, that's going to go back down. That's why I don't stop unless I have to. Um, so my rings here, I got the endless walk, which is great. The other one is after five consecutive non-critical hits, my crit hit chance goes up to 100%, which is great because my critical hit damage is 338. It's pretty good. And as you can see right now, I have 100% crit hit dick chance, which is from my my passive ability. So that's great, especially going in. Um, then on the belt, we're doing my primary skills attack 30% faster and do 170% increased damage. It's not too bad at all. Um, more Gears of Dreadland stuff going on. Yada yada. Some of these rolled pretty decent. Um, as far as the rune in my helmet, I like I like to go with life just to give me a little bit more buff. Um, I have switched it to gold to get some challenges, but I, I like to stick with life. Uh, you got my amulet here, another one of the set pieces, and my nemesis bracers. So they will spawn an enemy champion, which if you're trying to get done with a rift fast, those are definitely needed. Um, and usually you just hit a pylon. You're, you're, you're good to go. You know, you're, you're going to be doing extra damage. You're going to have shield. You're going to be extra fast. One of them. Um, I think those are the one things I'm looking at replacing because I have not found ancient nemesis bracers. I do not know if they exist, but we're going to keep looking. Um, but yeah, so here's some of my basic stats. If you guys want to look at some of them. Um, yeah, yeah, da. but yeah, not, not too bad. Um, and then, I mean, I have my follower here. I don't have a whole lot on him. Oh, look at that. I have Nemesis Bracers on him, too. Why do I have the same Bracers on my follower? As you can see, I don't use them very much. Um, so, yeah, that, that needs to change. Um, but I usually play with people, so I'm not worried. But that one right there is a big one. They last twice as long. Love that ability. Love it. And he's just got some crappy Blackthorn battle gear on him. I don't have anything special. Couple anything that emulates there, that's a nice one on your guy. My items are indestructible. I also have it where he cannot die. Um, but yeah, there is that. So let's go ahead. I'm going to. I have actually ran a 88 is the highest that I have ran with this character solo. It was a little rough, but not terrible. So I'll give you guys a show real quick here. And show you what I mean by the hummingbird. So I'm going to shoot a couple shots. As you can see, that gets the momentum built up down there. I'm also shooting, which means Raps Clarity is going. And right now my damage is increased. But as soon as I start moving, that starts changing. So once I get this all kind of up, like you can see I, I can move pretty good. Um, just making sure that I'm pressing three every once in a while for the... Uh, the hungering arrow making sure I keep that momentum up to extra damage and that's what's gonna do all my damage uh, when I hit elites I usually I'm gonna go ahead and pop my vengeance let that go and as you can see I just don't stop moving um, I probably missed some some orbs and stuff here and there um, and I'll use the shadow before I heal just because I can usually heal just from the damage Hits I'm doing from the life I'm getting back. Uh, but yeah, they, my buddy likes to joke. He he can't keep up with me when we're in in these risks most of the time. Um, unless we're on higher level and we try to stick together. You can see my hatred kind of will drop if there's no enemies around. But if there's if there's enemies, my hatred's going to regen. So let's get this channel pile on. Give him a little stun. Give him a little freeze. Oop, I need to back up a second. Grab all that. You can see the elites didn't take very long. And essentially, this, this is what I do running these rifts. Make just, you're gonna do a build like this, you gotta make sure you're hitting that hungering arrow. That's gonna be your big damage dealer. And it rebuilds that momentum. But see, I get. I get some massive speed rolling. 
and my other buddy gives me crap that we run through dungeons. He doesn't get to play as much as we do. So we do have to run him through a little bit. He always gives me crap. He's like, well, you're not killing everything. It's like, yeah, I don't have to kill everything. If I can go from elite stack to elite stack, I, I can get these rest ran pretty easy. Like that. See, that's two groups. Plenty of orbs. I'm rolling wide ahead of my timer. Now, on a regular rift, I do get slowed down every once in a while. Because I gotta pick up items. Uh, sometimes I like to clear a whole floor if we're getting close and kill the rift guardian. And then come back and pick everything up just to uh, speed it along a little bit. See, they're not lasting very long at all. And if I get a power pylon doing this, I, I really don't have to stop. I barely have to do anything. Uh, and this is 75. Like I said, I ran 88 on my own, but it was a little rough. I think that's I think that's about what we were running. Paired up yesterday, me and my other buddy. But you can see we're making pretty good time. And lower torments, the build I got going on it, it does pretty good. Hey look, shield pylon. Now I really can't die. Now with the shield pylon I can stop. Put in that extra damage because since I'm not moving, my damage is used. Let's get this bad boy. Come on, buddy. And as you're zipping around, press that three button. As long as you're aiming in the right spot, it's going to hit something. It's going to do that damage. You can see he didn't last very long. Let's see. I had 11 minutes and 11 seconds left. So that's what? Three minutes, 49 Mine seconds. It's and not terrible by yourself. I, if you have a gym, um, you I top, I think I was doing it 2 minutes and 58 seconds, I think is what I got for one day. Um, but yeah, see this is where I need to start getting higher because these chances are garbage. So we'll slowly get those up more and more, but I'm slowly trying to take some of these other gems up so I can feed them into the cube and, power, and augment some of this stuff. But yeah, that was the... Uh, that is my Demon Hunter Hummingbird class. Um, pretty interesting to play on. It, it, it gets interesting. I have saved some of the other sets. Um, Embodiment of the Marauder and the Natalia's Vengeance. I prefer the Gears of Dreadland. It, it, it works better for me. And I enjoy it. And it, it runs pretty good. But... If you guys have any suggestions on something I could change, make it a little bit better, throw in a different legendary gem in there, something like that, or if you think even some of the runes on my skills need to get changed, don't hesitate to drop a comment in and let me know. I'm a newer player, so I don't mind trying some different stuff out. If I fail a, r a rift, I'm just going to run it again. But thanks for stopping in. If you guys want to check me out on Twitch, it's you know and Shooter. Um, no in at the very beginning. Um, we get on a game pretty much every night. We've been playing Diablo 3 now for the last couple weeks, and we're ready for Diablo 2. But I will catch you guys later. Thanks.